say you'll never forget where you were when you heard the news on September 11, 2001. Neither will I. I was on the 110th floor in a smoke-filled room with a man who called his wife to say goodbye. I held his finger steady as he dialed. I gave him the peace to say, Honey, I'm not going to make it. But it's okay, I'm ready to go. I was with his wife when he called as she fed breakfast to their children. I held her up as she tried to understand his words. And as she realized he wasn't coming home that night, I was in the stairwell of the 23rd floor when a woman cried out to me for help. I've been knocking on the door of your heart for 50 years. I said, of course, I'll show you the way home. Only believe in me now. I was at the base of the building when the priest ministered to the injured and devastated souls. I took him home to tend his flock in heaven. He heard my voice and answered. I was on all four of those planes, in every seat, with every prayer. I was with the crew as they were overtaken. I was in the very hearts of the believers there comforting and assuring them that their faith has saved them. I was in Texas, Kansas, London. I was standing next to you when you heard the terrible news. Did you sense me? I want you to know that I saw every face. I knew every name, though not all know me. Some met me for the first time on the 86th floor. Some sought me with their last breath. Some couldn't hear me calling to them through the smoke and flames. Come to me, this way, take my hand. Some chose for the final time. To ignore me. But I was there. I did not place you in the tower that day. You may not know why, but I do. However, if you were there in that explosive moment in time, would you have reached for me? September 11, 2001 was not the end of the journey for you. But someday your journey will end and I'll be there for you as well. Seek me now while I may be found. Then at any moment you know you're ready to go. I will be in the stairwell of your final moments.